These pictures shocked Haiti. The young man in the video says he was raped by UN soldiers. True or not, it's another PR disaster for the UN peacekeeping force in Haiti, known as MINUSTA. MINUSTA expresses its profound regret to all of the potential victims and all of the Haitian people, and the Haitian government. These words might not be enough. Bad publicity has stalked MINUSTA ever since it arrived in Haiti seven years ago. Brought in to keep the peace, its soldiers have often been accused of using too much force over the years. And last year's cholera outbreak, which killed over 4,000 Haitians, is said to have been caused by UN troops from Nepal. If MINUSTA don't want to leave this country, we're going to fight against them, you know. They say, whoa, because they don't come here to help us, you know. They come to destroy our country, our law. They don't expect police, they don't expect nobody. <laughs> That's the feeling of many Haitians who've lived for decades in poverty and political instability. Many see the UN soldiers as outsiders. But it's doubtful whether the Haitian police can enforce the laws without the UN's help. This is one reason, analysts say, why President Michel Martelly needs MINUSTA, even if many of his people want them out. I hope man, sooner or later man, you will throw them away, man, the minister away, because you don't need them around here no more. For all the criticism Minister has received, there are some places in Port-au-Prince where they're actually quite liked. In the tented camps, for example, where thousands still live after last year's earthquake, UN soldiers have made life a lot safer for some. One of these people lives here. She doesn't want to show her face. We flash your thermal flash, you know? When they shine their torches, we think it's someone else, but it's them checking we're safe while we're sleeping. If it weren't for Minusta, how would it be for us in these tents? We are young, we have kids. For Sterling, the UN are protectors. For others, they represent much that's wrong with Haiti. It's a contradiction in a country which already has many. Ross Velton, Al Jazeera, Port-au-Prince, Haiti.